She's always been really excited for me. I mean, I remember telling her that I was going to be the bachelorette. I said, hey, mom, are you sitting down? She's like, no, I'm grocery shopping. I'm like, put the groceries down and get in the car. Tasha Adams' sweet bond with her mom, Rosario, is one we just cannot get over. And in honor of Mother's Day, the two took some time out of their day to chat with E! News about everything from Tasha's journey on The Bachelor and Bachelorette to how Rosario played a major part in Tasha's view on love. I would love for us to get together, maybe go shopping, brunch, and then finally end up at home watching a movie with the fireplace and just having fun. Just finding out, you know, how they're doing and what's coming up next and all that kind of stuff. Just spending time together. I will love that. She always made it a priority to go to church in the morning. Always. That's what my mom wants is for all of us to go to church together. My mom always requests at least one picture of all of us together. My mom loves pictures of the family together. <laughs> she loves them. So we have to do one of those. That makes her really happy. And she likes a card. That's all she that's all she asks for really. She's very simple in that regard. I think it's my faith. My faith is something I always can rely on. It should be a pinnacle in my relationship. And I think that my mom has always made us going to church or going to private school if we can in order to have that religious education a priority. That's something that I'm bringing into my relationship that's always been very important to me and um, something I've always been able to rely on. And my mom's always reiterated that in anything that I've done. And I think that that's what's gotten me this far, to be honest with you. I told my mom, she's like, okay. <laughs> So what does that mean? Because I had told her, you know, I think I'm going to go to this interview. I think I'm going to see what it's all about. And my mom always has been really supportive of every decision I've made. She's never made me feel like that my heart's not in the right place or like my instincts are off. She's always been like, if that's what you feel like you want to do, then go do it. And so she's always been super supportive, but she's always been really excited for me. I mean, I remember telling her that I was going to be the bachelorette. I said, hey, mom, are you sitting down? She's like, no, I'm grocery shopping. I'm like, <laughs> put the groceries down and get in the car. <laughs> mom, do you remember that? I remember. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Tasha, I'm about to check out. I'm like, I'm telling you right now, you're going to want to put your stuff down. And she, uh, sure enough, my mom put her groceries down and then went straight to the car like, what's going on? This better be good. <laughs> <laughs> she knows that I am her biggest cheerleader. <laughs> Absolutely. I totally trust her decision. She has a good head, you know, on her shoulders. She's pretty good about that. <laughs> For me, it has been delightful, honestly. For my husband, I can say a different story. I <laughs> wish. For me, I just love, you know, to, just to see her on TV. She does so amazing. I just love my daughter so much. <laughs> we did actually see her fall in love. I was telling my husband, I'm like, she loves him. <sighs> Being that it's, you know, Zach, I mean, he's such a great guy. So for us to actually see her fall in love in TV, it was just an amazing feeling. I can honestly mm -hmm. tell you that. <laughs> you know, it's one of my greatest joys. I know her heart. So I see her kindness. I see her compassion. I see how, you know, really genuine she is and love for others. And even people that know Tasha from, you know, when she was little, you know, they tell me that's who she really is on TV. And it just makes me so, pr so proud of her. And, you know, it fills my heart with joy. <laughs> I would say that if you are fortunate enough to have your mom still alive or anywhere near you that you can communicate with her, I would do it because life's too short, but also it's never too late. And I know that there's family dynamics are really difficult at times, but there's nothing like your relationship with your mom. Yeah, like I said, it's never too late and she will always understand no matter what differences you guys have. So it's never too late, do it, reach out. I can go first. I'm just okay. thankful for your love. I feel, you know, blessed to be your mom. I thank God that, you know, I am a mom and I love you guys with all my heart. Aww, thanks, mom. I'm just grateful for my mom's grace and her heart and her love and, and how she's never faltered from that. I feel like no matter what, she's always tried to 
do her absolute best. Even if she couldn't provide what she wanted to provide, she made the best out of every situation. She's always made us feel like very confident in our own decisions and trust our own instincts, but also just rely on our faith at all times. And yeah, that's what I'm most grateful for. I'm just grateful for her heart. This is so fun, mom. This is our first time doing something together. I love it. I love you, mom. Thank you Happy so Mother's much. Day, mom. Thank you for <laughs>